Hey Leah, Mariah here. It's a pleasure, honor, and a privilege to be reading for you today. Hopefully you're good. Hopefully you're doing great. Happy New Year's. I didn't have my coffee, so I'm a little hyper. Sorry about that. Love you. So hopping into your reading, right? So let's get into it. So we're going to be looking at your love life for January 2023. See what's going on. See what you're getting into. Hopefully all you guys are really okay. And hopefully this new year has been a really bright and blessed new year. And if it's been difficult, it will get better. You know, a, a storm cloud will not stay over a house forever. Okay. So I love you. Let's hop into this for you, Leo. So let's start with you, right? We're going to kind of keep it open where the energy takes us is going to take us. So let's start with my Leos. Uh, where are my Leos currently in the month of January, 2023, when it comes to their love life spirit? Ooh, okay. First card out is flying. We got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's get a couple more. King of Cups in the reverse. Tower. Justice in the reverse. So let me show you what we got coming out. We got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse. The Tower and the Justice in the reverse i want to see why is the no why is the king of cups in the reverse for my leos for where they are in january 2023 three of pentacles Ooh. who's who and then the three of wands on the bottom of the deck okay this is really specific i don't know if this is your energy leo Maybe somebody that you dealt with in 2022 and then in coming into 2023, the energy is still just kind of carrying over, you know, even if you're not necessarily in this exact situation right now, again, it could have just been the energy from 2022 that you're still trying to process through into 2023. This is scorching the earth. This is setting and burning things down, setting, setting shit on fire and burning things down. The best way, if I can give you a visual description of this, if you've ever seen the movie, it's an old Tyler Perry movie, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Um, and when the wife, uh, when the wife realizes that her husband is cheating and she starts, you know, messing up the house and burning his clothes and, you know, just going and, you know, crazy and upset and just like really scorching the earth. Um, another great visual example would be like a left eye from TLC and her back in the nineties, her and her, um, boyfriend they really got into a big uh dispute and argument and she ended up setting his house on fire <laughs> i'm not saying you did any of those things lee i just wanted to give you a visual description but if we're looking at where you are coming into january of 2023 even if you're not in this space as of right now or you're not dealing with this this lets me know though where you're coming from is a situation where you may have been unable to control your emotional responses you may have been unable to control your emotional um your emotional actions or you may have not been able to regulate your emotions in regards to a situation you may have been placed into outside of your will this always reminds me i hate to say it because i haven't really talked about this in a love reading, love reading in a while which i'm happy but third party situations the three of pentacles three of wands this either was a third party situation you dealt with in 22 2022 coming into 2023 or maybe in 2023 as of january you know you're finding out maybe you're about to find out you're getting ready to deal with this or you've already dealt with this and you're just trying to relinquish the energy of it um no it doesn't matter how you slice it you were still put in a position where you thought something was very stable you thought something was very grounded you thought something was going to be very fruitful and fulfilling or even long term right maybe you thought this person had a sense of loyalty or some form of moral compass you may have thought this person's integrity was much more in alignment than their behaviors and actions and what they showed unfortunately you were proven wrong so let's look at your person right for my leos 2023 january 2023 who is my leo dealing with or give me in regards to the person that leo may be experiencing we got the two of cups thank you nine of wands ten of pentacles queen of swords why is this two of cups here for who leo is dealing with page of pentacles in the reverse 
Who's experiencing this Ten of Pentacles? Let's see. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. What's the uh, old saying? And I hate, I don't want to keep cussing, but I kind of have to a little bit. Um, but it's the saying of, you know how to fuck up a wet dream. Sincerely, like, you know how to fuck up a wet dream. That's what this is. Because we got the Two of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, uh, not Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, but then we also have the Nine of Wands. And then the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And at first I wanted to know if this was your person wanting to experience this with you again, or if this is what your person was experiencing with somebody else as of right now. And if I'm looking at your energy and you either coming out of this into January, 2023, or you're dealing with this in January, 2023, your person's energy is very steady and stable, two of cups and 10 of pentacles. And if I was gonna read this like, and not no shade, but if I was gonna read this like a, like a typical tarot reading, if I was just based off the cards alone, I would say your person wants you back, right? I would say your person wants you back. I think that would be, um, I think that would be the wrong way to guide this reading because that's not what I'm saying, especially if your energy is this. This more so tells to me that whoever it is that you were dealing with is dealing with that, whoever the other person is or other circumstance or situation, they're off doing their thing. Two of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. They're off doing their thing. And this is something that Queen of Swords in the reverse they may have felt like once things were found out about that you went cold turkey or you cut it off or maybe you had harsh words to say they may feel like they have to keep this away from you and which would make sense if this is somebody who put you in a third party situation to go live not live i mean maybe somebody they live together sorry um but to go be with somebody else it's like of course they're not going to tell you what they're doing or what they're up to that's you know technically kind of not it is your information to know, but it's really not, if that makes sense. Um, but they're keeping it to themselves with the Queen of Swords, but also too, they have felt in some way, in some regard, the uh, sting of your words, the raft of your words. Now, what I think gets really more dynamic is seeing the Page of Pentacles on the Two of Cups. And not a fan of that. Um, seeing the page of pentacles on the two of cups. And if I'm looking at this as somebody else, not necessarily what they're experiencing with you, but what they're experiencing with somebody else, whomever they're dealing with in mind, I'm asking about them, but whoever they're dealing with that foundation that they're trying to have with somebody else that they've ended up putting you in a third party situation with is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. And this is one of those cycles, whether this person has already gone through this or will be going through this in the month of January, this is one of those kind of make up to break up because the foundation, the infrastructure of whomever they decided to leave you with to go towards somebody else, the infrastructure is not fully in the ground. It's not fully in the ground. And it reminds me of when you like construction, I hate to keep going into analogies, but in construction where when you have to build out the foundation, you want to, to put the, uh, the actual metal rods below the bedrock so that way it's really strong and the infrastructure will not move when you're building some form of high building. This is a situation where there's really no solid infrastructure and there is no reinforcement to have this be a concrete relationship for the long term. So I'm looking at somebody kind of doing their thing with somebody else and they kind of, I hate to say it, but they jeopardize the connection with you and left you in a specific space of being blindsided. I don't think you're expecting this. Feeling blindsided, being blindsided, it coming out of the blue. And now they're trying to have something here, but it's not enduring. So I feel like that just took so long to explain. I'm so sorry, Leo. So let's get a little further into it. What does my Leos want in their love life? January, 2023, whether it's with this person or just in general, what does my Leos want in their love life? in January 2023. We got you coming out in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the reverse, Six of Wands in the reverse. Sun, you again. And one last one, Three Wands. Three 
So we got the Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, the Sun, and the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Hermit. Okay, Leo. Well, this is picking your stuff up by your bootstraps. Queen of Wands in the verse is Six of Wands in the verse. Whether this may have been public knowledge about what happened between you and this person, whether there could have been some form of public embarrassment, some form of public shame, some form of public guilt. Um, even if it's not public, like something that was super public where it could have been on social media, like Instagram, Facebook, et cetera, Twitter, this could have been embarrassing or some form of public knowledge that was made to your friends, colleagues, family members, people who know of you, people who are not romantically involved in the situation, but knew of the situation between you and this person based upon you being blindsided by them and this now becoming public knowledge of some sort. It's like the sun and three of wands. This is like, I want a fresh start in my love life. I just want a fresh start. The hermit, you may be a bit more introspective at this time in some regards, but you're, I want a fresh start. I don't want to, you're just trying to move forward. So let's look at this person. What does this person dealing with Leo want in their love life? Whether it is with Leo or just in general, what does this person want in their love life? January 2023, we got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. I am so sorry about that, Leo. I don't know if you heard my Google Home going off. Did not intend for that to happen. I didn't do anything for it to go off, but it did. So hopping back into your reading, we have the Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm hearing immediately the Justin Timberlake song, What Goes Around. This is, simply put, someone, as it, far as what your person's wanting in 2023, out of their love life, whether with you or with somebody else, and I don't think this is necessarily with you. It more so feels just in general. This is somebody who's able to give up to a certain extent or up to a certain point. They only have a certain level of emotional capacity. They only have a certain level of loyalty. They only have a certain level of dedication and devotion. At the end of the day, this person's always going to be loyal to themselves. At the end of the day, this person's always going to love themselves more. At the, person, at the end of the day, this person's always going to put themselves and their self needs first, right? So what makes us think, why did we attract this? Why do we have this attachment to the person? Why did we have this attachment to the person? Did we see the red flags at the beginning, right? So all these questions we may ponder upon, but if I'm looking at this person's energy, no matter, and no, I don't, people can change, right? But as of speaking, and if this is what they're wanting, this is somebody that likes the, when things are good. This person likes when things are good, when the romance is flowing, we're giving to each other, spending time with each other. We're able to, you know, take each other out, maybe date this and the third. Just when things are good, this person loves when things are good. When things get bad, this person in 2023, and I feel like they've always had this pattern, it almost feels habitual. They like to then separate and put themselves first. It's like they will be willing to enjoy relationships until it costs them their own sense of freedom, independence, or when things get tough or rough, they kind of want to go and do their own thing. And they want to keep that going. And this is why I say this isn't necessarily January specific. This feels like habitual behavior that they would like to continue on in their relationships. You know, once the once the good gets going, it's fun until it starts getting tough. Then it's like, yeah, no, I'm not I'm not really with this. I want to kind of do my own thing, whatever it is that they see fit. So I want to look a little bit further, Leo. Let's really quick. What's coming in for my Leo's January of 2023? Let's see. What is, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got the Wheel of Fortune, we got the Star, we got the Seven of Wands. We got the, oh, I wanna, okay, so definitely we're gonna take this into the extended because I wanna see where this is getting ready to lead you. Because you're getting ready, you're being spiritually led to a new direction. Wheel of Fortune, the Star, Seven of Wands, and the Devil in the Reverse. Don't fight it. And I don't think you are, a lot of you, I don't think you are. Some of you, you may try to fight this new direction, um, and not saying that you don't want to go in a new direction, but you may try to fight it. If you're one of the Leos that may still have some form of attachment to this person, you may try to fight the new direction the universe is leading you. Don't fight it. A lot of you won't fight it. And, and actually, if I'm going to emphasize this, a lot of you 
Seven of Wands to the devil in reverse. You're trying to block this energy. You're like, no, no mas, no bueno. You know, I rebuke. <laughs> That's what that comes across. I rebuke, I rebuke, I rebuke. So you're rebuking this person's energy. No, but the star in the will of fortune, this is destin destiny. This is fate. And I'm I'm so and so when it comes to fate, you know, just personal pain. You have your own, I have my own. But when we do see the will of fortune in the star, this is something that is being faded. You're being led. You're being guided into a new direction. And I can't wait to see where it's going to take you because this is no mas. This energy, no mas, no bueno. But where you are going is something that actually is going to be very, very beneficial for you, very fruitful for you, um, very healing for you. And it feels almost like, because I'm looking at the cards and I'm just thinking of somebody who journals, right? So you may have written down or journaled what it is you want next or what outcome you're looking for in your love life. So let's check, take a look and see. Leo, I'm gonna leave this here before this video gets too long. If you wanna come with me to the extend it, the link is in the description box below. But if this is where I leave you, continue to stay on your ground, let this energy go. You're being guided into a new direction that is gonna be beneficial for you. So that's the most important thing you need to know. But I wanna actually see how this plays out, the new direction. So I love you, take care. Sorry for the interruption and you guys have a good day, bye.